this semester we're going to enter the exciting world of programming and to do that we're going to use a programming environment called Alice. So the first thing you want to do is find the Alice programming language. You're going to come here to your start window and click on the arrow to find all your apps and then just scroll through and go over just a little bit until you see the A's and here's Alice 3 and you'll notice that it's kind of a turquoise um, a teal icon and you're going to click on it to launch Alice. Now this is version 3. You might have used this program in a different class and you probably used Alice too. So you'll notice a few differences and if this is your first time in Alice you're in for a real treat. This is a great environment and you're going to have a lot of fun with these programs. When you get into Alice the first time and every time you're going to have this pop-up window it's going to give you some options to pick a blank slate. These are going to be your world templates. You can also have some starters. There's some pretty cool things here. We won't worry about that right now, but later on when you do your own programs, you can use a starter. My projects, the things that you have been working on right now, it's going to be empty, but as you work on projects, they'll show up here. Your most recent projects, once again, it's empty right now, but it will show up. And then file system is just to find something that you've saved into your student account. If we don't have anything yet, we're going to start back here with a blank slate and you're going to pick a template. I'm just going to pick grass because it's the first one there and it's nice and simple to use and say OK. Now you can follow along with me. You can resize so that you have the, your video open on one part of your screen and Alice open on the other part of the screen and then go ahead and follow the instructions with me. So you've picked grass or some other template world to begin with. And right now there's nothing on it. So the very first thing you're going to do is set up your scene. We're going to click here on this button, set up scene. And it's going to take you into a whole nother environment that looks like this. Now down here on the bottom, you have some different tabs and these are all the objects that you can add to your world and they're organized. This one is organized by class. So we have biped, flyer, prop, quad, swimmer, and transport. So if you know which class it's in, you can come right here. Another way that it is organized is by theme. So if I'm knowing, doing some kind of Africa theme, anything that goes with Africa will be put in here, and so on and so forth. So you can also search for objects by theme. You can do it by group. So you see how they're grouped here by all different kinds of animals, characters, so on and so forth. Also, you can just do a, a search. So if I know I want to find a cat and I don't want to look for it, I can just type in cat and it will find cats for me. You can also add in some shapes and over here it'll show you how to add in text. So if I want words on my world, a billboard, we'll get to these, but just remember where to find them. And then also we have my classes, but we are not going to be using this tab uh, in our lessons in the near future. So we're really going to just focus on all these other tabs. And what I want you to do is just spend a few minutes and practice going into these different folders and adding some objects to your world. So let's say I come here to the biped class and maybe I want an alien. I can just drag it up there. I can kind of move it where I want. Okay, and it's going to be a default size. It's going to have a name so you can keep it this name like alien or you could actually give it a name like Bob. That would be up to you. And it's going to be here, and you'll notice that there's a little circle here and that lets you move things around. Okay. And then you've also got some tabs up here to do rotations, translations, and to resize. So I'm going to give you some time to just kind of play around, add as many objects as you want, see if you can position them where you might want. You can also play around with some of these different properties here and see what's available. So the first part of this, part one, is just getting into Alice and going through these folders. Maybe you want to find a character now to go with this and naming it if you want to and working with the positions, resizing. I can come back here to default. I can come over here to rotation and just kind of figure out how you can manipulate your objects. So we're not doing any coding right now. We're adding objects to our world and we will be coding them in the next part. 